Hi, Larry. How are you? Come in. Come in. Let's see. How are you feeling? It's been a bit of a rough week. Really? And the best way to take it is to put it under your tongue and rub it in your cheek. Don't do too much. You're going to be asleep all, all afternoon. You know what you should do? No. Don't no. try to communicate. Just relax. See what happens. We know from animal experiments that the endogenous cannabinoid system is very important in regulating motor activity, that very type of activity that is impaired in Parkinson's disease. From animal experiments, we also know that boosting certain branches of the endocannabinoid system is helpful in relieving symptoms of Parkinson's. Finally, from anecdotal information, we know that certain patients who smoke marijuana experience relief of their symptoms. I think you're calmed down. So quickly. Isn't that amazing? He used just a single drop, and his hands afterwards were rock steady, and the dyskinesia left. Who mm -hmm. was coming back? It works most of the time. In fact, it's... Oh! Uh... <laughs> Did you guys eat lunch? Are you hungry now? Yeah. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> 20 a.m. Yeah. Actually, I've got... A person like me could really use marijuana. It makes, it makes me pretty angry that sure, I can't right get it in my home <laughs> state. Sure. The number one frustration that I have is knowing that there is this untapped potential that comes from what marijuana is, te is teaching us to generate new medicines and being stuck because of financial issues or political issues, that is extremely frustrating. We now know that medical marijuana um, controls dyskinesia, um, and yet it's not, it's not available to us.